Hey, nerdy sports fan here, and we're talking Week 13 NFL action with another great Monday Night Football matchup. I mean, earlier in the season, they were all pretty much crap. Uh, but past few weeks, we've been getting some good ones. Um, so we have the Minnesota Vikings going on the road to face the Seattle Seahawks. This is a playoff preview. Okay, both of these teams are going to be in the playoffs. Um, because of the records of other teams in their divisions, they might both be wild card teams. And they're definitely both capable of being division winners. Uh, these are, man, it's going to be exciting at the end of the season for the NFC, for the playoff seeding, because either one of these teams could easily be the division leaders by the end of the season as well. Uh, it's, this game matters. Um, yeah, but let's dig into it, guys. So, Minnesota, the knock you're always going to have until they win something really, really big is, does Kirk Cousins have enough of that it factor to really carry them through a tough game? Because they're going up against a quarterback who everybody knows is nothing but a ball of it factor. Uh, just Russell Wilson is exactly what you draw up when you're looking for a quarterback that just has it. I mean, sure, he's short. Okay, whatever. He can throw. He can run. He's clutch as all get out. Kirk Cousins, he's got some wheels on him, but he can't move like Russell. And yes, he can throw the ball extremely well, extremely accurately. And he's got very good targets to throw the ball too. But the it factor is always what you question with him. So in this game, what you would say with this matchup is, hey, you know, Minnesota versus Seattle, quarterbacks, talent-wise even, but the edge goes to Russell because he's just got that MVP kind of fire that Kirk Cousins doesn't have. So now you're looking at the rest of the roster, see how they shake out. Running game is pretty, as far as I'm concerned, dead even. Uh, he's got Cooks is doing fantastic this season. He's one of the best two or three running backs in the league this year. Um, Chris Carson's not exactly a chump. Okay, he put the ball on the ground a couple of times last week, and they put Penny in, and Penny did fantastic. So between Carson and Penny, they're going to get the production that you get out of Cooks. So it's, you know, rock versus a hard place there. So receivers. Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs against Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, Josh Gordon. I'd say advantage Vikings. Uh, so offensively, the Vikings a bit better off than Seattle. Let's go to the defense. Both strong up front, strong at linebacker, strong in the secondary. So statistically, Seattle's defense is giving up more, both through the air and on the ground. And offensively, Seattle's doing better through the air. Minnesota's doing better on the ground. But the differences are kind of minimal. Um, <sighs> I like Seattle in this game. I like Seattle in this game primarily because they're home and Russell Wilson's an MVP type player. And I don't see anybody like that on Minnesota. I like them just barely. Just barely. Now, the bulk of the country thinks that Minnesota's going to win this game. They might be right. Um, Seattle's three-point favorites. I think that's too high. I, I, this is going to be a damn close game. And if I had to bet 
I bet the Vikings. You're giving them three points. I mean, there's such a good chance that they can actually win this game. Um, I bet the Vikings all day. Um, as far as fantasy production goes, pay attention to the backfield in Seattle. Look at every article you can. Find out up through game time whether or not it seems like Penny has gotten more practice time than he usually gets. Because Chris Carson put the ball on the turf just one too many times this season. And Penny had such a good game last week, they might actually consider changing up what's going on there in Seattle. I hope they aren't, because I got Carson on both my fantasy teams. But it might happen. So keep an eye on that. Whoever gets the start, you need to start. They've got a great rushing attack, and I understand they're going up against a great defense, but the running game is still going to be strong for Seattle. As far as um, their passing game goes, Russell Wilson, obviously you're always starting, but you know what target's going to do well? Lockett is the high floor guy, but both Metcalf and Gordon have a high ceiling. So if you're desperate for somebody at wide receiver, you want to take a flyer on somebody, um, either Metcalf or Josh Gordon, you can throw in there. One of them's probably going to slip away for a touchdown at some point in this game. It's just a matter of who. Um, neither one of them gets consistent targets, so it's a very touchdown-dependent kind of situation, but I think it's worth the risk in this case. Um on the Minnesota side of things, you still, you know, Cousins is just on that border of, is he worth starting, is he not? Personally, I just picked him up because I dropped Phillip Rivers. I advise anybody to do the same. Cousins should be owned at the end of the season. He's just on a tear, fantasy numbers-wise. So, start him. Um, I think that... Thielen's always the number one option. You worry about his injury and whether or not he's come back from that. Last week he hadn't yet. Um, I was pretty sure he should be back this week, but, you know, reports are mixed on that. So Diggs is the safe play. He's had strong play in Thielen's absence. Um, Kyle Rudolph has gotten more action in Thielen's absence. So even if Thielen comes back and plays, is he going to get the kind of targets that he has earlier in the year? Is he full strength? I don't think so. So even if he's healthy, I'd probably consider putting something else in that position because Thielen's, yeah, it's a risk at best. Stefan Diggs needs to be in your lineup. Kyle Rudolph needs to be in your lineup. Um, both defenses are the kind of defenses you have for fantasy football. Um, I see this game turning into a shootout. I see both offensive staffs doing enough to really confuse these defenses and... I see it turning into a shootout very easily. So if you have a different option at defense, please put them out there. Um, yeah, that's what I have for this game, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit up the rest of my videos for more fantasy football advice. And check out the post-game video I just put up for the Bills lumping up on Dallas.